everybody. Uh, my name is Joanne. I'm Gordon's wife and I'm going to show you today how to do a wicking system. That's when you put your dirt into the bag here which is a poly, a non-woven polypropylene bag. All right, so that means you can, it's actually made from reusable plastic. So it's actually very breathable. I'll show you. I can actually breathe through it. Okay, so this is important because the water has to be able to seep through and wick up. So let's get started. Okay, first of all, we get a nice little working area. And then we just get normal potty mix. It doesn't have to be really fancy, just a nice potty mix because you also are going to be adding um, your nutrients to it like sea salt, duck water, anything like that that will actually give it some oomph. Okay, so let's get started. Again. Right, we might just Okay, now this bottom part has to be pressed down really firm again to allow the wicking to start. By the way, these bags um, are your normal shopping bag. So we get ours from Buddy. We find that um, they're right about the best that we've seen so far. So all I'm doing is pressing really hard down to make a really firm base. This will just take a couple more seconds. If you've got a big man there, it's a lot quicker. Okay. I might add a little bit more to it. firm now. So what we do is now put the rest of the dirt in and then put our plants in. Okay, that's nice and fluffy. Um, actually, I probably could do a bit more of that. This is what you do. You just kind of play with it, measure it, to see how far from the top. We've also turned it down a little bit. Again, you don't have to use so much soil that way. And it looks a bit better. That's for the girls. Okay, that looks a lot better. Remember to leave a little bit on the top so that you could put your um, wood chips and any other type of uh, light material um, on top. Okay, we're using silver beet today. So it'll be interesting to see how quickly these grow. We haven't done the silver bit before, 
So this is an experiment for you and for us. These are already nice and damp, which is good. Just gently make a hole and just cover it. These will grow fairly big, so as far as spacing goes, probably leave about two inches. That should be enough. Because they grow up like this, but the root system will go down and air prune. Now, that's the other reason why we're mainly using these bags. For air pruning, what happens is the roots go down, then go out. Now, in a normal bucket, it goes around and around and around, okay? Um, but in this, it will actually go down, go out, and then as soon as it hits the side, the air will literally prune it. So when that happens, the rest of the um, root will then sprout other new roots. So it's always growing. Um, and it, they don't get tangled up. And this is why everything gets absorbed. Very good idea. particular ones have actually got about two or three in a batch so they should produce a lot all right I'm going to now put on the top layer which is when your bag closes I can shoot down and oh, no, 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 you, you, you grow bag. Just bring your grow bag over. Oh, so you want me to shoot? Yeah. If you can work for it just there, so bring it. Just going to show you what it looks like. As you can see, it's very simple. Maybe the wood chip just thing. Oh. Okay. And that, can you can you put your wood chip on the top? Oh. You don't know, have it. We can see what's we can see what's going on that way. But we're not as smart as you. Okay. Now we've just got to slowly and carefully. Just put some wood chip on the top. This keeps the moisture in. Stops evaporation, eh? And stops evaporation. As you see, you really don't need that much. But it is enough to do its job. All right. Don't worry about them. They'll all pop up in a minute. Okay. Now what we'll do is put some water on the top. And what this does is start the wicking system. And then we put them into our basket or um sorry not basket oh, oh. our pond or a large bucket or anything else that you'd have that will hold about two inches of water okay but i'm sure gordon has got something on that somewhere on his videos but at the moment um we'll just take this over now and do what we need to do okay We'll be back in a moment. Hi, back again. 
Now, all we're going to do now is just water it on the front, on the top, sorry. And then I'll take it over to our area here. As you can see, our other products are growing really, really well. And then we just put that in there. And voila! We sit back and watch and um, look, at, look at the beauty of nature grow. <laughs> This part's fairly important, isn't it? Yeah. To prime the uh, bag. To prime the bag up. And allow the, um, from the bottom up through. That's why we tighten it down to the bottom to allow it to start to wet. This starts it to draw. Okay, so I won't stand around too long. I'll put it straight into the other area. back again <laughs> okay now um, as you can see our corn is growing beautifully here so I'm just going to pop this in here and that's it okay now it's in with the water about two inches maybe three depending on as I said how much and how big um, your bag is also what is good about this you have to have air around it all right because the more air you have around it the better it will actually uh, prune itself that doesn't mean that you cannot have a variety in the one area as you can see with us we have got the corn and the tomatoes and I've actually just taken some um, carrots out <laughs> sorry just forgot that one um, yeah, so really everything's just going beautifully. I hope you um, get something out of this today and um, you have a good week. Bye. Well, I'll just have a quick look around the rest of it here and I hope I'm not picking up too much wind noise for all of you. I mean, here's how crazy this is. That's right outside our bedroom window. We're not getting mosquitoes because all we're doing is recycling that water every, every 7 to 10 days, just keep it fresh and you don't get the mosquito issues. And over to my left here, I wouldn't advise using these blue kiddie pools that we've got here because they're not UV rated, they tend to shatter when, when they've had a lot of sun on them. And I'm just going to come back around this way to my right. These are the carrots that Joe just popped out. That's them there. And they're going really well. She's going to pop them back in another IBC that's over the far side there. You're not going to believe all this we're growing and I'm um, just trying to think. I won't go past here because I'm going to get blown away by the wind blowing a gale down through here at the moment. You don't want to look at my feet, do you? Okay, that's, that effectively there is just a smidge over one square yard. Um, where, the, where, the, where the silver beet went in, into is another square yard, or square metre, whichever way you want to put it. Like those tubs there are 1.2 metres by a metre. So what do we got in there, Joe's? Cucumbers, zucchinis. Lettuce, a bunch of herbs and our corn. We just moved the corn out of the way to um, allow a little bit more sun by itself. Everything was shading it. But um, yeah, and that's actually grown really well in the last couple of days. So that, that's only a couple, what, about two weeks old, three weeks old? About two weeks old. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah. We're going well. We're going very, very well. Okay, um, well, as I said, you all have a lovely week and we will talk to you later on. Bye for now.